But I want to move on, Tammy, because I want to uh, bring you uh, this story. New York Times reporting that New York Governor Andrew Cuomo received four million bucks for his book deal all the time while his administration hid the nursing home death toll. Uh, let me get your thoughts on that, Tammy. Uh, well, uh, as we're seeing, uh, Governor Cuomo is a man who uh, manipulates his entire environment, who bullies in his environment, who abuses his power. And you're looking at, I think it's fair to say, uh, uh, one could argue that this is a certain kind of way to curry favor, that you're going out there, you've got all kinds of power, people think you might be the attorney general. Thank God that didn't happen. Or maybe someday you'll be the first real bully president. And you know, it's an interesting kind of thing that happens within industry and how cozy they get with politicians, because that would not be considered yes. a political donation. It's an, it's an outrageous abuse of his power that he would accept that when he knew what was going on. <laughs> but of course, this is a man, as it becomes increasingly suspect, with no conscience. Uh, and it's about money and power and control that then manifests in orders that ends up getting 15,000 people killed. And he apparently didn't care. In addition to how you treat the people close in your orbit with harassment and some alleged sexual assault. And now, of course, this mm. this is for some for people like this, whether they're politicians or not, just the tip of the iceberg. It really is. As they like to say, he's dug in there like an Alabama tick. You can't get him out despite all of these issues coming his way. Uh, Tammy, we're out of time. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, as always. Thank you. Thank you.